guys you're welcome back hope you guys are doing great so guys we're gonna be checking out the power of the words bismillah alawakba yes so let's watch guys Okay, I'll do the lamb Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu jami'an. God's blessings and mercy upon you, all my human brothers and sisters. Today I'm going to share with you a video, an amazing video of two parts, about the authentic Islamic slaughter procedure on lambs and goats. On the first video, we're going to illustrate the power of God's name as the only method of submission before slaughter. On the um, second video, we're going to show you the authentic Islam, the complete authentic Islamic slaughter procedure only using God's name upon slaughter. Exactly the same way the, all the prophets have done for thousands of years. Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace upon all of them. Not using stun guns or hammers or any other equipments electrical equipments only using simply only using God's name upon slaughter before we proceed I would like to mention that all the scriptures Torah Bible and Quran has been preaching of one God he is the cre he is the only creator of all creations and he is the one that worthy of being worshipped and thanked by all his creations and he also created lambs and goats as a blessing for humans for the purpose of food and clothing uh, the scriptures also preaches about a humane treatment of animals and as a humans we only have the right to slaughter him in God's name to be mentioned before slaughter God's name can be mentioned in different languages and it will have the same effect. You can say God's name in English, Arabic, Hebrew, French, Chinese, as long as the slaughter have a strong faith in the word itself and of the Creator and mention it, it will have the same effect and the same submission effect of the animals. It's an amazing word and it will have the same effect in different languages. These animals are bilingual and they all know God's name when it's mentioned no matter what language and they always feel the heart of the slaughterer if he believes in that word or he doesn't once the belief is there the faith is there and the word is mentioned is guaranteed effect and a guaranteed submission la ilaha illallah allahu akbar <laughs> We're going to take these animals, run them inside as a group. We're not going to separate an animal from each other. Um, every animal, every creation would like to have a partner, except the Almighty oh. Lord. So oh. to really maintain these animals Sorry. to be calm, you Please always have to, tra to make them travel with a group. You don't separate oh. anyone from the other. Definitely not one by himself. That would really make him very tense. Oh, it has wow. to be two or more. Minimum. Mm, okay. What we're gonna so do? Nice. We're gonna take the um, so mamas. We're gonna bring him over here, and we're gonna make him submit <laughs> on the ground over. Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> Oh. There you go, baby. Oh. This is total submission. Oh wow. Total submission. This guy is ready for anything to be done to him, and he's not nervous. Wow. He's not resisting. He's in total relaxation. Silly pregnant one. No panic hormones whatsoever. See, I let him go, he gets up. <laughs> do some. Abdul Rahim, you want to do him? No, you need to show to a skeptical person. Bismillah. Allah. It's okay, baby. It's 
okay. I'm not doing anything <laughs> good. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Okay. It's okay, baby. Wow. Same reaction. They all Amazing. react the same. The power of the word. They're more religious than most That's humans. Submission. No movements, nothing. They're ready for anything. Bismillah, <laughs> Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Total submission. These guys had a little, uh, they come from a bigger ranchers, so they're a little bit wild. They're not used to uh, be touched and handled by humans. And uh, for them to turn around and just lay down like Really in total peace. Answering the calling. Definitely. The power of the word gets clearer and clearer after, after you see more and more submit. Probably some of you are wondering by now about the Arabic words that I use that makes the animals submit the way they did. The first uh, uh, term we use, and this is really uh, the authentic uh, uh, procedure, one of the terms of authentic procedure that is being mentioned in the scripture, is in the name of God the greatest, which is Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. There's another prayer that I usually use, and it's my favorite prayer, and my animal's favorite prayer. It says, Bismillah alladhi la yadurru ma'ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi samai wa huwa sami'a al-alim. The beauty of this prayer really shows some of the power of the word itself. It says, in the name of God, who is with his name, no harm will come, not, neither in this earth nor in the skies. And he's the one that hears and listens, and he's the most knowledgeable. This is really a wonderful prayer. Uh, it, it really is very effective and I will illustrate the power of it as we go on part two also. In the auction, when we bought him from our rancher, it weighed over 300 pounds. And it's usually going to weigh more now because he was fed and he's been having fun, eating alfalfa and everything. He's probably 10 pounds larger than what it was in the auction. I weigh 190 pounds. So any dealing with this guy, he has to help out. Otherwise, there's no chance anybody can really restrain him or force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. He's going to do exactly what he instantly wants to do. 
So if this guy submit, the power of the word is clear. This is a 300 pound animal. For me to drop him down on the floor to start submission, it's almost impossible for one person to do it. I'm gonna ask Abdul Wahid to help out for the initial submission and then he's gonna withdraw and the animal's gonna respond by himself. I'm putting only a finger on the ear and this guy if he wants to get up I don't think any anybody is capable to get him back down except two people as strong as me and Abdul Wahid to be able to submit this animal on the floor but now oh, wow. he's totally answering the calling mm, I'm surprised. and he's happy with it so there's no did. breathing hard if you know this the lungs is not breathing hard He's in total submission. Wow, that's beyond words, guys. The fact that they totally submitted the ram, it's, ah, it's beyond words. So all you need to do is just say the words if they are about to slaughter the animal. And they'll just, you know, stay still. They'll keep quiet. They'll submit. No movement, no complaint. At first, they were struggling. But immediately, man started saying those words. There's a connection that, that that was really powerful. Like, what? I'm finding difficult to believe that this was actually like like I'm finding difficult to believe that this really ha happened. It actually happened. Like, it looks so real. <laughs> yes, as if I'm I'm saying it though, but like, wow, that's the power of power of Allah, that's what God can do. And he also demonstrated in another way. And it was really beautiful, wow. That's to tell you that, you know, the words of God are powerful. So the more we use him, the more we pray, the more we, you know, you know, reference God, the more we acknowledge him, the more we, we appreciate God, the more we worship him, is the more God will answer our prayers, the more God, you know he's always there to answer our prayer we just need to believe because he has given us the you know the the, the words he has given us everything we need to you know to to do greater mighty things just say the words appreciate god if if these words can do this in the lives of an animal can make an animal to submit talk less of you now using it to appreciate god or thanking God. You don't need to use this words when you need something from God. You use it when you, you just want to appreciate God for everything. Then you will continue to do more and more and more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more likes and comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.